my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. Make it seem like the barge in them. Got my heart, no barge in them. From the bed to the flow to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. Break you in, then break you out. In the end, we gon' make a chop. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. Get in with Misty, we gon' get tips. You don't need a power shot. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. Ain't no cap, I'm real. The plastic bars wanna copy my steel. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. Ain't no cap, I'm real. Once you've installed mCollage Paper Rip via M Installer, it can be found in your transitions as well as your titles. In your titles, if you scrub over, you can get a real time preview of how these are going to look in your canvas. So we start out with a bunch of miscellaneous tools here. So we've got some really cool circle text. We've got some random custom spray paints, uh, these really awesome stickers that are a lot of fun. And then we can go down and we have our overlay effects. So here we have custom mask. We have a custom tear, a fold, lots of different things there in our overlay effects. We have some placeholders here so you can see this is like an album cover we have this custom shape for our drop zone which is a lot of fun an instant photo then move down and we have these ransom note letters and these are really a lot of fun you can come up with some really cool ransom note style animations as they animate in and they're all very very different and unique then we have these reels so these are sort of pre-edited they just come in with different drop zones different rips and such then we have our scribbles and these are also just animating in and they animate throughout so those are a lot of fun and then lastly we have our typography so why don't we just start at the top with our miscellaneous so over this first shot let's say i just want to have some custom spray paint so i'm just going to click and drag that in to my timeline and then you can see here as we scrub down we have that animating in we have on-screen controls this is a global like master for position scale and rotation but then we also have all of these other on-screen controls here so you can see that these are going to adjust that spray paint all the way through so however you want that paint to be moving so let's say we want to move it all the way through like this and it's going all the way through our scene then over in our inspector of course we have our animations in and out along with our animation speed and then we have the spray paint stroke so as you can see here it makes it a thicker or a skinnier stroke and then of course you can adjust your spray paint color if you would like here so let's say we wanted it to be some kind of a purple or something like that there you go and then we also have our number of segments and we can have all the way up to 15 segments for this i'm just going to leave it at six of course you add any of these the same way so if we wanted to add duct tape we just bring that duct tape in and we will have on-screen controls again for position scale and rotation and this is something that might be cool if you wanted to add some text or something like that over it as well over in our inspector you can see that we have multiple tape modes and a lot of this plugin is going to feature multiple uh textures and options so you're not limited to just one tape you have multiple tapes there all right let's move down and then we have our overlay effect so again we've got this custom mask we have this really cool tear uh we have a fold out i mean there's just so many i really like this one i really like the stencil as well so let me show you the stencil so i'm just going to click and drag that into my timeline and then you can see that we've got that crazy stencil going on and it just has really changed the dynamic of our image so quickly over in our inspector we have masking mode you can have your highlights your shadows or both just depending on what you're looking for then we have our threshold here and you can see that our threshold is just going to make changes to our image there depending on which one you're using so that is just adjusting your highlights adjusting your shadows and that is in turn 
going to adjust how this is affecting your footage. What's really cool about this as well is you can see that there is some text so you can make adjustments to the text that is on that newspaper as well. You have paper art, collage stories, I mean you're adjusting a majority of the readable text there in that image so you can make those adjustments where you feel needed. As we continue down our timeline here, we have these placeholders. So you see we have the cover, we have the custom shape, which is really nice. So why don't we just drag our cover in and then it animates in, as you can see here, we have on-screen control for position, scale, and rotation. So if we wanted to maybe put this on the other side, kind of rotate it that way a little bit, you can do so as you please. Over in our inspector, we have our drop zone and frame that we can toggle on and off. And then we of course want to put something in our drop zone. So why don't we just click and we can just click something here in our timeline just really quickly to show you. So that's nice. So we'll just apply clip. We can make adjustments to our drop zone if we need to. Of course, you can make any adjustments to your text as well over in your inspector. And then we have our foil that you can toggle on and off, or you can make changes to the style of foil that you're using to give the illusion that that has been, you know, wrapped in some sort of plastic. You can offset your foil if you want to, so that you can make sure that it is not covering a certain part of your image. I mean, you really have ultimate control here. You can flip it, adjust your foils levels, your shadows and highlights. The list goes on and on with adjustable parameters. And let's say we like this a lot, but maybe we go back up to our miscellaneous tools and we can grab one of our stickers there and we could do like a really quick, just grab that and then boom, we are throwing a logo sticker on there to animate in something really nice let's continue down our timeline here and take a look at some of our ransom notes so all of these are completely unique from each other so you can come up with some really cool looks so why don't we just grab a few and we will stack these in now each of them of course are going to have their own separate on-screen controls so we can just highlight each one and grab those on-screen controls there so that we can spell something out really quickly. Over in our inspector, of course, you just make the simple change to a single letter. So these are going to be single letters here. So let's just type in C, then we can move to the next one. We can maybe do O, then we could go to the next one. We'll do another O, and then why don't we do L? cool in this one this is going to be letter number five you can see it does have plastic wrap you can toggle on and off or if you wanted to change the position of your plastic wrap there you can do so here i kind of like it being offset a little bit and maybe we change our opacity to make that not so bright so there we go something like that cool get it Awesome, let's move on. So here I've got a gap clip because I wanted to show you our reels. So as you can see here, each of these are gonna be completely unique. Now these work in both vertical and horizontal timelines. So they're all going to work really well. So why don't I just grab this one? This has got a bunch of different elements. So let's grab that and drag it in. And then as you can see, we have a few on-screen controls that is going to be our rip and then this one is going to be our overall rip there so a couple quick on-screen controls to fine-tune and adjust what you're looking for i think i like something like that over in our inspector we can make some changes to that text if we would like and then we have multiple drop zones so just really quickly i'm going to fill these drop zones with the content inside of our timeline just so i can show you how that looks once you get to the spray marks you can make changes you can turn those on and off you can adjust the position of those 
can adjust the scale and of course the color along with the paper and there is some different textures in the paper as well six to be exact so like i said a lot of these are going to come with multiple textures so you can really get in there and figure out what you want continuing down in our titles you can see that we have these different scribbles which are a lot of fun so again just click and drag onto the clip that you would like to affect and then you can see here we have some super quick on-screen controls for position scale and rotation so let's say we're pointing at this guy right here jamming out on the keys there you go really nice over in our inspector we can make any changes to the animation in and out as well as the speed and then we have our contents position rotation scale opacity and blend modes we have our brush width so if you wanted to make that thicker or thinner you do so here along with our brush spacing so you can see how that is affecting that as well we have our brush color we have our frame rate so that is going to be how quickly are we jumping around or how slowly are we moving around with that animation and then our position wriggle and how that is animating so a lot of these tools here are specifically for that sort of a squiggly scribbly animation going on again you can stack these so you can get some really cool animations going on just throughout your image very very quickly very very simply just something like that if you want to just have that kind of coming in on the side that looks really nice they just kind of animate in and animate right back out all right and the last thing in our titles i want to show you is our typography we have a bunch of different typography options here there's a lot of spray paint options this one is really cool because i love the paint is just kind of leaking down throughout the animation so that's really cool so why don't i show you this one since i love it so much with the paint animating out i'm going to click and drag on my timeline let's move down the timeline a bit and of course position scale and rotation on screen controls and then over in our inspector we can make any changes to our header to our paint typography blending and then our font our spray our paint splatter there you can turn that on and off you can scale that up if you wanted that to be just covering the footage something like that you can do so and of course change your colors and all that good stuff and then we have our drip which is nice i love that drip you see that dripping down the image there and then over here in our inspector we have our paint drip you can turn that on and off paint drip mode for dynamic or static and then the length of the drip so if you want that joker to just drip all the way down you can make the width a little stronger and you can see that it's just going to drip faster if you do a longer length now it is going to animate back up if you have your animation out on so just if you don't want that to happen just turn your animation out off and it is just going to drip through the entirety of that animation until the end of the clip. And last but not least, let's not forget our M Collage Paper Rip Transition. So if you scrub over these, you're going to get a real-time preview as to how those look within your canvas. And of course, to apply, simply click and drag in between the two clips that you would like to affect. And you're going to see that sort of stuttery transition there on this one. We do have one on-screen control, and that is going to adjust the direction in which the paper rip is moving. So really, really nice that it adjusts your footage for you, just depending on what's going on. I do like this right here. Over in our inspector, we have our animation direction and range sliders along with the transition scaling and rotation along with our brightness so you can see here that we can change the scaling of that if you would like to maybe desaturate something like that you can do so here along with the brightness and then we have the same on our transition b scaling 
and rotation. And then again, we've got multiple textures. So we have six textures for that paper texture there. And that's about it from me. Again, this is George Edmondson with MotionViewFX.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.